In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through transferring your files and your documents between your iOS device and your PC. Stick around. What is going on everybody? We are just going to jump headfirst into this tutorial, but first there are a few things that you're going to need before we get started. First, you're gonna to want to have iTunes installed on the machine, whether it's the app version or a software version, both should support the file transfer feature. And then secondly, you're gonna to want to have a device that is running iOS 4 or higher, since that is when they introduced the file transfer feature. Now, just a quick channel update, and of course, a shameless plug. We wouldn't be an official YouTube channel if we didn't have our own merch line. We've officially launched our merch over at shop.helpcloud.com. You can get yourself some like stickers or some mugs or some shirts, etc. So head on over and get yourself some sweet Help Cloud swag. To get started, go ahead and open up iTunes and then plug in the phone with the USB cable. And if this is the first time that you're plugging it into your computer, you may get a prompt uh, asking you to trust the computer on the phone which will require the pin, but you also may get a prompt on iTunes as well. Once you've got it all plugged in, up in the top left-hand corner of iTunes, right next to where it says music, just to the right of it, you're gonna see a little phone icon indicating that the phone or the iOS device is now connected. Go ahead and click on that. And then on the left-hand side, you're gonna to want to click where it says file sharing. Once you've done that, it's then going to load the list of all of the compatible apps that work with file sharing. As you can see, Word is the only compatible app that I have that works. Your list may be bigger, it may be less, but you may not have any at all. And if that's the case, you don't have any apps on your iOS device that are compatible with file sharing. For example, if I go ahead and tap on the app Word, you can see that it's going to list all of the documents that are currently on the phone, and I can transfer these back and forth. So if I just wanna transfer one from the iPhone over to the PC, I'll just select it to highlight it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on Save. Let's do the YouTube test. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Save. This is gonna open up a file explorer window where I can navigate and select a location to save that file. Once I've selected desktop, it's gonna to go to the desktop. You're gonna to want to select wherever you want it to go. But as soon as you click on select folder, it's gonna transfer that file to wherever it went. So just pay attention to where it went. I'm gonna go ahead and click on select folder. And you can see nothing really happened and that's because it's a very small file, instantaneous transfer. And if we navigate to that, uh, area, let's go to desktop here, you can see that now I have the YouTube test document right there on the desktop. So that's how to transfer it from the iOS device to a PC. Now, what if I wanted to transfer something from the PC over to the iOS device? Very straightforward process. Again, down there next to save, you're going to actually want to click on add file this time. And it's going to navigate to a certain Windows Explorer. You're going to want to navigate where your document is that you want to send. And then what we're going to do for this demo is I'm just going to take the YouTube test. I'm going to make a copy of it. And then let's just rename it again. Let's see. Um, X for uh, PC to iPhone is what we'll call it. We'll hit enter. So as the phone is concerned, this document right here does not exist on the phone. It only exists on the computer. So we're going to go ahead and select it. Again, you're going to want to navigate to where yours is at. Once you've selected it, you're going to tap on open. And that's it. Again, it's an instantaneous transfer. And you can see under the Word documents now, we now have all four file types or all four file documents, uh, monitor, PC to iOS, expert to PC, which is the one that we just renamed and it's all listed on there. So now, if we head on over to the phone itself, open up the phone. Again, you will may, may need to type in your pin one more time. I'm gonna tap on the Word app right there, and then it's gonna default to home. You're gonna wanna come down into the bottom right and tap on where the little folder icon is. And you can see right here, we've got the monitor reference, PC to iOS, X for PC to iPhone which is the file that we created on the computer and transferred over to the iPhone. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to transfer a document from your iPhone to PC, and then of course, PC back to your iPhone or iOS device. And that is going to do it. I was also trying to look for a file or a compiled list of all of the apps that were compatible with the file transfer. Unfortunately, right now I haven't been able to find anything, but if I do, I will be sure to leave that in the video description. Additionally, there are tons of third-party software out there for you that you can try in case this method doesn't work for you. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this tutorial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you liked it or you got something out of it, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, ring that bell so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content. And we will see you on the next one. Peace.